to all in today's session we are going to talk about the n element array of equal amplitude and the spacing suppose we are using a very high frequency for point to point communication whereas we will require a single narrow beam of the radiation pattern so it is not going to achieve by only two elements and that's why we are going to increase the number of elements now to obtain such a pattern we require to increase the number of elements in the array so there are two terms related with the n element array so if we are talking about the n element array we'll talk about two terms over here the first term is nothing but the linear array and second term is nothing but the uniform array now let us see each and every term which is over here so uniform array otherwise first we'll talk about the linear array so the linear array is nothing but the array that individual elements of the array are equally spaced along a line the second type of this particular n element array is nothing but the uniform array now let us see what is the meaning of this uniform array now this uniform arrays are nothing but the linear array so you can say a linear array if the elements are fed with the current of equal amplitude and having an uniform progressive phase shift along the line so this is nothing but the uniform arrays now let us talk about the expression for, for field now let us see or let us assume that there are n number of elements which are placed along with the x axis so this is element number 1 element number 2 element number 3 and so on now here we are assuming that each succeeding element has a progressive phase shift of alpha so as the current amplitudes are equal the field magnitudes are equal that is we can say as we are feeding it with the equal current we can say e1 is equal to e2 is equal to e n and which is nothing but the e 0 now as shown in the figure the part difference uh, due to the progressive phase shift here is nothing but the d cos of 5 now here we are assuming that these are placed along or the, we are observing these things to the distance point p so here whenever we are talking about this particular psi psi 1 is equal to psi 2 is equal to psi now where we are assuming psi is equal to beta d cos of phi plus alpha so the total electric field here at the large distance e is equal to e0 e raised to 0 j psi plus e1 sorry e0 e raised to j psi plus e0 e raised to j2 psi and plus up to e0 e raised to j n minus 1 psi so here e is equal to e0 1 plus e raised to j psi plus e raised to j 2 psi plus e raised to j n minus 1 psi so this is nothing but the equation when we take e0 as a common now while writing the equation for the source 1 is assumed as a reference and the fields from source 2 here we are assuming our source 1 is nothing but the reference and your source 2 3 and 4 are leading in the phase with respect to the reference by an angle psi 2 psi 3 psi etc so multiplying above equation you are multiplying above equation by e raised to j psi here we can write e e raised to j psi is equal to e0 e raised to j psi 
plus e raised to j 2 psi plus e raised to j 3 psi plus e raised to j n psi. So this is nothing but the new equation which we have obtained when we are multiplying it with the e raised to j psi. Now it's subtracting. Now here I am assuming this is nothing equation number 1 and this is nothing but the equation number 2. So subtracting equation 2 from equation 1. So well subtracting equation 2 from the equation 1 we can write e 1 minus e raised to j psi is equal to e 0 1 minus e raised to j n psi. So this is nothing but the equation which we have got or I can write e is equal to e 0 1 minus e raised to j n psi divided by 1 minus e raised to j psi. Okay. So by splitting this equation further, I can get here, I am splitting this equation over here. So by splitting this equation, I will get e0 e raised to j n psi by 2 minus e raised to j n. I can say, I will take this common, e raised to minus j n psi by 2 minus e raised to j n psi by 2 divided by I can write e raised to j n psi by 2 e raised to minus j psi by 2 minus e raised to j psi by 2. So this is nothing but the equation which I have got after splitting these terms. Okay? So we know that uh, we know that e raised to minus j theta minus e raised to j theta is equal to minus 2j sine of theta so let us solve this particular equation based on this so here i can write as i know these things so i'll write here e is equal to e0 e raised to j n minus 1 psi by 2 sine of n psi by 2 and again i can write down here sine of psi by 2 so this is nothing but the new equation which I have got right now. Now simplifying this particular equation. So here this is nothing but the equation or I can write this equation E is equal to E0 sine of n psi by 2 and sine of psi by 2 or this will be the angle n minus 1 psi by 2. So this is the new equation which I have. Now this is the equation of the total far field pattern the linear array of n isotropic point source with the source 1 as a reference for phase. So in case of the reference point, so this is nothing but the equation when your source 1 is the reference. When you are shifting the reference here, if when source 1 is reference, now here I will shift the reference. So in case reference point is shifted to the center will get now here if I am shifting uh, the uh, it to the center the phase angle will get eliminated to the zero and that's why E is equal to E zero sine of n psi by 2 divided by sine of psi by 2 whereas my angle will be zero so this is nothing but the total field when your source one is the reference and when you are shifting your reference to the center so this is all about the total field of an element array the next session we will talk about the array factor thank you